Okay, today we're looking at baseline movement again. So I'm just quickly going to read through what's wrong with this. So if you see here, it says the bass note below the chord box must reflect accurately the chosen chord. So if I see C here, then I should definitely have a C below it. Okay. Now, then they've done B. That's okay because it's passing down to my A. So A minor here, so they have the note A. So it's completely fine to put a B there because we can see some step movement in the bass, even though um, B is not part of the C chord. Then if we look at the next thing, it says passing notes make the bass line more interesting, but they must be musical. Do not jump from a passing note. So here they have circled um, the B again. So it's step movement, still step movement, but then they jumped from the B up to the next um, note D here. So we cannot jump from a passing note. A we could jump from. If that was a C, we could jump from it, okay? If it's something in that chord, we can jump from it. But if it's a passing note, do not jump from it. Now, then they have a big X beside this D. So let's look at what's wrong with that. Okay, so I can see here that's D minor slash F, which is the first inversion of D minor. If I have, I'm using a first inversion, F must be in the bass. So that's what's wrong with this. They've put a D in the bass. All right, so if I'm going to use that, we must have an F in the bass. Um, then this, again, we've got a passing note. We'll say, say that they just actually used D there. D would have been fine, and then if they had an E, if you look, you're playing your E with your F there. So that's going to sound like a clash. Okay, so it would be nicer to have something within the same chord here. And again, then they were jumped off the passing note to get to G. So there's nothing wrong with that G. That's completely fine. And then they did G to A. But it's passing to what? It's passing to jump back down. So that's why that's not a good passing note. A passing note should bring you from um, one note to another in step movement. So like here, this is a completely perfect passing note. We went to C to B to A. But here you're going G, a passing note of A for no reason whatsoever to jump down to C. So that's what's wrong with that one. Okay, then here again, we see we've got C slash E, which means I must have E in my bass. So let's see, A, C, E. Yes, they have E in the bass. However, let's look. F, A, C, E, they have here as well. So they've marked that with an X. So why might that be? Well, they've doubled the third. So in the chord of C, you've got C, E, and G. So if I'm going to use E in my bass, I do not want it here in my treble clef. Okay, so because we've doubled the third, that's not correct. That's why we would lose there. Okay, so that's why we have a big X there. Um, again, a passing note to nothing. We want to do a passing note to step movement. Otherwise, don't use that. Use something else in the chord. Um, F slash A, so we're using A in the bass. That's completely fine. And we have an F on top. We're not doubling a third, so there's nothing wrong with that. And again, we're passing noting to nowhere. So that's why we're circling this. All right, then we have the G7 chord. So if we have G7, a reminder, that's just G in the bass. So that's fine that we're doubling that, the G here and the G here, because it's not a third, okay? If it was a B, if it was G slash B, then that would be a problem. But because it's just a G and a G, that's completely fine. And then stepping again down to nowhere, okay? So stepping to nowhere, so we're not going to use that. And again, if you notice G, B, D, F, that F is going to clash with that E on the treble clef. And then ending on C. All right. So if you have any other questions on that, let me know. But that's just an explanation of what is wrong with this.